Hi, welcome to a new video. This is an English version of homemade lithium battery pack part 1. If you are looking for Malayalam version, then link will be in the description. Please check it out. Today we can assemble a 5 kW 48 volt lithium battery pack. Technically it's 51.2 volt since we are using 16 cell configuration. First we need to unbox these cells and make sure that there is no physical damage on transit. Then we also need to check for any budging or something like that on these cells since these cells are uh, 2023 make. As I said, uh, these cells are 2023 make. Actually, I didn't get enough time to assemble this battery pack because I was a little bit busy with uh, some other task. Uh, these are 100 H uh, prismatic cells from High Star. These are uh, lithium ferrocite cells. Uh, you can see the manufacturing date mentioned on the cell itself. Uh, it's uh, 07 2023. We can arrange these cells in a, on a table and then we, we can check its internal resistance that means IR and then voltage to make sure these cells are balanced because this IR uh, mismatch will lead to balance issues. Using this IR tester we can measure the IR and voltage then we need to record these values in a, on a paper or we just need to keep the record uh, we, for that we just need to connect the positive and negative of uh, the meter to the respective terminals you can see the values on the meter screen uh, not on these values so we can test the remaining batteries then we, ne we need to arrange this thing these cells accordingly uh, we need to apply a little bit compression on these cells since uh, prismatic cells that will help uh, help to avoid budging because actually at uh, after a few few days or few a few cycles there is a chance of budging if you are not using proper compression for compression we can use a thread rod and a wooden piece i mean i'm just using this method actually you can use a convenient method for you so after that after this compression i will use a fiberglass tape uh, to keep th uh, keep these cells compressed we need to arrange these cells in a manner to connect positive of one cell to negative of another cell because it's a series connection always use proper safety equipments when working with electricity now we will need the balance leads that is coming with the bms so we can unbox the bms pack these are the items we are getting along with uh, the bms kit first the jk bms itself then under the cardboard we can see the remaining items that is uh, interface board we are connecting communication cables to this board and then the tri contact device id and all these things are set uh, using this board you can also see the status led uh, these are the cables used to connect the interface board and the thick red cable is the positive supply for the bms main output positive is directly taken from the last cell then the power button when we are using lcd display there is no need of this power button tri contact connector for the interface board uh, then the balance lead we you have to connect the balance lead using a cable connector that will be much easy i will show the cable connector image on the screen these are the bus bars coming with these cells probably you will get this without the center nut and bolt i have just modified this to connect balance leads from the center using small nut and bolt also please like the video if it's helpful and also don't forget to share your valuable feedback and suggestions in comments now I have connected this uh, bus bar to the cells using M6 nut also connected the balance lead I need to tie up these cables first we can test this after that we can do these cosmetic changes you can see the BMS connection diagram on the screen always make sure that all nut and bolts are proper tied to avoid chances of loose contacts black wires in the balance lead are uh, temperature sensors uh, there will be one temperature sensor in one set of balance lead and total four sets the number on the temperature sensor will help you to identify the balance lead number these red balance lead wires are able to carry 2 ampere current since it has 2 ampere active balancing thanks to the 2 amp active balancer of jk smart bms because uh, many bms are missing that uh, my videos are educational purpose only electricity is dangerous and can kill so be smart and use common sense as I said, this JKBMS has 2 ampere active balancing and 150 ampere continuous current capacity and it's able to deliver 300 amp surge current. Before linking these two packs, we need to cross check uh, the connections and uh, voltage on balance lead. Uh, then we can make sure that there is no wrong connections. 
uh, one pack has 26.8 volt and the other pack has also the same volt so it will be uh, total around 54 volt uh, now i have linked these two packs and uh, checking the status then i have used a small gauge wire for linking since i am testing after testing i can update to update to a bigger wire you can see the balance reed connections to the cells and the interface board connections uh, and the 2.8 inch lcd display connection on the screen you can also see the protocol supported by this jk smart bms by looking at the status led on the interface board we can confirm that it's working this is the positive supply wire for the bms and for the negative we will need more thick wires since uh, negative wire is controlled by the bms and the main positive will be directly taken from the last cell use the jk bms app to get the status via bluetooth app on your mobile phone for communicating with inverter we need to take connections from rs485 or can port here taking connections from the can port previously i have shown the protocol supported by the jk bms the first port is rs485 we can use normal lan cable if the ports are standard otherwise we may need to do some diy cable use the jk bms mobile app to set the communication protocol here i am setting it to pylon tech and you can choose the protocol based on your inverter here i am using a leonix inverter and it support pylon tech protocol that's why i am choosing it as pylon tech this inverter will help you to identify whether the communication is successful or not by looking this li icon near to the battery so that will confirm the uh, communication is success actually right now this battery is charged 100% charged we have removed the can cable from this battery and connected to the jk bms so now it's charging around 10 ampere because it's this bms is reporting as 99 percentage only because this reading is given to the inverter so it's charging when we are disconnecting this cable from jk bms and directly connecting to leonix power wall so it will stop charging uh, nowadays we can we don't need to do this uh, bottom balance previously we are also doing bottom balance nowadays uh, we can simply handle a top balance using the inbuilt smart balancer of jkbms you can see that when i have removed the communication cable from jkbms the li uh, icon is missing on the screen so now i will just connect uh, this cable to the leonix power wall so it will again uh, detect a lithium battery you can see on the screen it's showing the lithium icon so the communication is successful. Like